Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be yet another cash stuffing. Um, so if you guys are new here, I do stuff $100 a week into my sinking funds and that is what I record for you guys uh, because I do have a savings challenge in every single sinking funds envelope and my husband and I are working on completing each challenge before pulling out of that envelope just to kind of beef up our sinking funds a little bit um, because we did restart on them completely. Before we actually dive into the video, I do want to say that I have added some new trackers to my Etsy shop. So they are all Disney themed. So I have a Disney trip challenge tracker with a $1,000 goal um, that just has a bunch of Mickey heads. And so the highest number on this is $35 and the lowest is 10. So my goal in making my savings challenge trackers is to make them super attainable um, for lower budgets like myself. So that's the first one that I have. The next one that I have that is also Disney themed is called the Little Chef Savings Challenge. So this one has a goal of $250. Um, the highest number that you would have to stuff is 20 and the lowest number is 10. And then the last one and the most recent one that I have added is called the Claw Savings Challenge. Uh, so this is a goal of $75 with the highest number being 10 and the lowest number being 1. But yeah, so if you guys are interested in these, I do have them on my Etsy shop as well as a couple other um, tracker designs. Each tracker sells for $1.50 with free shipping um, because my plan is to make affordable budget tools for you guys because there's no need to charge you an arm and a leg when we're all just trying to save money here. Definitely check those out if that's something that you're interested in. I don't sell the digital trackers, just physical ones. If you're interested in digital trackers, I do recommend this set that I purchased from Savvy Budget Babe. I will link that Etsy listing down below if you guys are interested. So let's go ahead and just count my money. Um, that way we can get started here. So so we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and 100. So we have $100 allocated um, for our sinking funds, but I did also have quite a bit of rollover from last week. So we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 dollars that we will be adding into our sinking funds. So let's just go ahead and throw these in here. Um, and then I do have quite a bit of coins, so I'm going to just dump those in my little leaf. So this is my planner from Plum Paper, and I'm just going to go ahead and flip to May. So I do make my own um, stickers, so I make them on Canva, um, so they're not for sale. But we're going to flip to week three, and I do already have my balances written in this week. So I did not post a budget with me because this week got pretty hectic between work um, and the podcast that I filmed with my brother and my cousins. So it was just kind of, it was a pretty long week. These are the numbers that we're stuffing today, and as you guys can see, uh, my challenge number three is blank. So I allocated the $100 um, all the way through and ran out before I reached my last envelope. So we're going to be stuffing that one with some of the rollover money. I'm not sure if I'm going to put all of it yet. I'm thinking that I might just so I don't have to wipe anything out. But we'll just go ahead and see as we go along. So we're going to open up my sinking funds. So I think we're going to go blue today. Um, I did get a question about my markers that I'm using. So they are the permanent up and up markers from Target. It was like, I think a 10 pack or an 8 pack for 7-ish dollars. I don't quite remember, but it was a pretty good price. We're going to dive in with car maintenance. So car maintenance is going to be getting $24.00. I'm doing an alphabet challenge. This is from Savvy Budget Babe, and I'm going backwards so that I can start with the highest numbers and decrease while my Christmas savings challenge is increasing. Um, but my plan that I think I want to start, honestly, I was going to wait till we got to the $20 space, but I might just start it next week, is as we're decreasing here, I want to increase here. Um, that way it's getting done twice as fast because I feel like card maintenance... You just always have to have a lot of money in card maintenance. So it's getting $24. So there's 20 and then 1, 2, 3, and 4. So let's see what our new total is. Um, we now have 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, and 75. So that is really good. So $75 in there. And the goal amount on this tracker is $351. $351. 
Okay, so the next one is going to be Christmas, and Christmas is going to get $10. So let's go ahead and color this tracker in. So this one, the goal is $500. I want to try and put more than that in here because not only are my family's gifts coming from this envelope, but I do plan for mine and Jordan's gifts to come from here as well. Um, so yeah, we now have $30 in Christmas. I do want to say super quickly, uh, or I want to address my giveaway that I had in the beginning of May. So I did get a couple of DMs on Instagram that you guys entered, uh, but you didn't see your name on the wheel. So YouTube filters comments before I even know they exist. Um, like even though I don't have filters on my comment section, YouTube just has their own. So a lot of comments I'm assuming were deleted before I was able to see them. Because uh, when I was creating the wheel, I was looking at my comment section while typing the names in. And I even typed in entries from accounts that didn't include their Instagram or an email. Just to give you guys the benefit of the doubt, which still did not include everybody. Um, so that giveaway is now closed, or it has been closed. But from here on out, I will only be hosting giveaways on Instagram. So it is just easier for me to host them on Instagram because that is how I announce my winners and that's also how I connect with you guys to send your products out. So if you are interested in a giveaway, I would please, please um, recommend looking into making an Instagram account. So next is going to be clothing and that's just gonna get $1 um, because I have not started the tracker yet. So clothing now has a total of three. So $3 in there. Okay, so after close, we have gaming. So gaming is gonna get $5 today, which should be a space on the tracker. So let's fill in this little peach. I love the idea of savings challenges, which I kind of talked about. I think it was in my last cash stuffing um, when I mentioned the dice rolling. Um, I tried to do that for the budget this week like I tried to roll a dice to figure out the amount I was going to be stuffing but it just wasn't working out for me um so I just stuck to flipping through and um assigning amounts that I felt were necessary so gaming now has five uh these ones are six stuck together six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve dollars so is that right yes twelve dollars in gaming and this goal is 120. Okay, after gaming, we have gifts. So that one is also gonna get $5. So let's just color that in. These are gonna look so cute with all the different colors on there. I'm actually really excited. So $5 and we now have 10, 20, and 25. So let's fill this in, 25. Ah, if I can open this. Okay, so after gifts is going to be haircut, and that one is going to get $10. So this is one of the trackers that is available on my Etsy shop. Um, I kept this one because I did smudge some of the ink. Uh, but yeah, so, and I have, I offer them in four different colors. So pink, blue, and aqua color, as well as white, if that's what you're interested in. So let's go ahead and grab a $10 bill. So haircut now has 10, 15, and 16. Then medical is also going to get a dollar. I have not started this tracker either. So there is just $3 in medical. Okay, now we have pet needs. So pet needs is going to be getting $10. I wanna get the boys a cat tree, which I think I mentioned recently. Um, so if you guys weren't aware, I do actually work at an animal shelter, um, and we were having like a pet food drive this week. So on Monday, they opened it up to the employees. So I did get a bag of dog food, a bag of cat food, and then a box of litter. So that was super appreciated. Of course, it's not the food that like I buy for my pets, um, but it was free and they're really big bags. So honestly, it's fine. It's gonna kind of be like my emergency food. Like let's say I'm running low and I don't have a chance to buy it that day. Um, then I can just go ahead and mix a little bit of it in to give them the same number, like the same amount of their serving, but it's just gonna be a different food. That way it also won't hurt their stomach or anything. So pet care is getting $10. 
So we now have 10, 20, 30, and 35. It's honestly, okay, I know I'm just three, like, colors in or like three shapes into every savings challenge but i feel like these numbers are really high for just doing a hundred dollars a week and having 15 envelopes so definitely you guys any any amount of money always adds up and it, it's always useful in the end so save anything you can um or not necessarily save because i know this isn't long-term savings like these are going to get spent but you know what i mean uh just kind of allocating whenever you can always helps so Pins is going to be getting three dollars. So we have one, two, and three. And let's fill this in over here. Uh, oh, it's down here. If you guys are into Disney pins, definitely let me know. Or if you're not into Disney pins, you should definitely watch some TikToks on it if you like to go to the parks, um, whether you go to Disneyland or Disney World. It's such a super fun hobby. Um, pins now has one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven, eight, nine. So nine dollars in here, which is amazing. I'm sorry, all my cash stuffing recently have been extremely long. Um, I noticed I ramble a lot more now. I guess I have not started the tracker for this envelope either, so it's just going to be getting one dollar for a total of two. Um, I have been mentioning that I do have an appointment this month, so I actually got one of the three scheduled tattoos yesterday um because my artist had last minute availability so that was super exciting i got that tattoo um it's a slinky dog one and it's like literally so cute i'm so obsessed with it and so next week when i go back for my original session i will just be getting the other two tattoos it might end up just being one i'm not too sure yet i'll kind of find out next week um but yeah so self-care is going to be getting ten dollars so this is actually my toiletries envelope. Um, so we're gonna add $10 in there and we're gonna color this in. Okay, so self-care now has a total of 10, 20, and then $21, which is pretty good for toiletries. So at least that's a good start. Um, oh wait, what did I say? 21, $21 in there. Next is going to be travel. So travel will be getting $10 as well. So let's grab a $10 bill and then we're going to color one of these in. Okay, weekend getaway, which is my travel savings challenge, now has $10, $20, and $30. The goal for this one is $440. So we're not quite <laughs> a quarter of the way there yet, but that's okay. So $30 in travel. So now we're going to start the three savings challenges that I have in the back. So if you guys have not tuned in to one of my most recent um, cash envelope stuffings, these savings challenges are going to kind of be on a rotation between different ones. Um, they're just kind of extra savings challenges. So right now my gumball challenge is going towards my new plum paper planner that I have to order in July. And then these two savings challenges are going to be what I'm using to fund my second binder that is completely new house related um i have not shown that i think i've shown it on camera once before just to kind of explain what i had in there but this is where i'm going to be getting the money for that binder um so once i order my planner then all three of these will be going to that so that's why we're going to try to finish this gumball one pretty quickly but the first challenge is called household supplies and the goal is 250 dollars and this one is going to get five dollars today so we're going to color in another little mop i am super excited for this one jordan and i were talking about my home binder and we were wondering if we should allocate like a separate amount of money to just start stuffing that binder but i think it'll be worth the wait to kind of just hold out and finish these first instead of trying to stretch like another amount of money to that binder because I really want to focus on debt in the month of June. So this challenge number one now has five, ten, and fifteen dollars with again that goal of two hundred and fifty. So I actually want this in the front. Okay, so after that one we have challenge number two, which is just a summer savings challenge. Um, the goal is one hundred dollars and every space is worth five. So we're just going to add a $5 bill in here. So it's also going to have a total of 15 So let's fill in the 
what are these oranges limes so now we're on to my last challenge which is my gumball savings challenge i don't know if i want to put all 18 dollars in there um we're gonna count what i have and then i'll decide because i feel like it's gonna be kind of boring to just throw it all in that envelope but i am trying to get it done pretty quickly that way i can order my planner already so let's see what we have in here first Okay, so my gumball savings challenge has 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we have $58 that we need to reach, and there's currently 15 in there. So $43, and we have 18. So that would put us at just 25, which I can honestly finish next week. But I don't, I just need it done by the end of June. So like, is it worth putting the whole thing in there? I think we'll for sure put 10. So 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So 58 minus 25, that'll put us at $33 left, which is still not bad. So we're, okay, we're gonna do that. So let me add that over here. So we have $10, um, what did I say it was, 25? 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Okay, yeah, so 25. And then we have to fill out which ones we're going to do. So, there's one five left. So, I'll just go ahead and grab that one right now. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If I do all the ones. So the gumball challenge got $10 today, which means we should still have $8 to allocate towards another envelope. So give me a second. I'm going to flip through everything and then kind of get an idea of where I want to put it. And then I'll come back to you guys. Okay, so after flipping through everything, I think I'm going to put $7 into clothes. That way it can be an even 10 and we can color in one of the shopping bags. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Honestly, should I just put this one in there too? I should, right? I'll just put all eight. Um, so that should be $11. So let's go ahead and change this to a nine. $9 went into clothes and we now have $11 in there. So let's go ahead and just double check that that's the right amount. And then we will fill in one of the shopping bags. So clothing isn't 100% like a priority. Um, but I do think it should get the $10 just so that it has something, you know, like we can color something in. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven dollars in clothes. So we're going to color this in and that gives us a little bit of a head, well not a head start, but we have something. So $10 for clothes and that does wrap up all of the money that we have for today. My goal is to try and keep a high number of rollover going for every single week because that was good that that was good i feel like that was a good amount of money that i had to also stuff my sinking funds so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video if you did please make sure to give it a big old thumbs up make sure to subscribe and comment down below uh super quickly if you guys are interested in anything like horror related or horror movies definitely check out the podcast that I have with my brother and my cousins. Um, we do review scary movies. We do have a TikTok account where we also do that. Um, so I'll link our YouTube channel below and you can find us on Spotify or even Apple Podcasts if that's something that you're interested in. But yeah, so that's everything for today and I will see you guys next week. Bye.